How do? <laughs> uh, I haven't uploaded out for a few days, so I thought I shall upload making a pair. Um, yeah, just a chicken curry, but you won't see chicken going in because it's not going in well tomorrow. Um, but I'll show you the basics. Uh, the it's what they call a paste. Right, here we go. How do? Right, I'm going to make a curry, and I thought I'll film it for people who don't know how to make a curry, a good curry, hot. Right, all you're going to need is. I use tinned tom or toads. Foil's getting expensive stuff, seriously. Because curry's just gonna overdo it anyway. Right, in this case I'm serving six people, so two tins of tomatoes. One bunch of British coriander. Chilies, thin chilies. Don't be fobbed off with big silly fat things. Get the thin chilies. Right, I get, uh, I just get the chopped onions from Asda. I forget how much they are now, I think they're about 30 pence. For all the hassle, and yes, I think you'd get more. You know, they're already chopped. Anyway, right, so that's what you need. Some chopped onions. <coughs> Put the onions, a full block of, uh, just the Asda cheap butter, the smart price. It's fully salted and what you're basically doing your onions need to cook well simmer actually so we're turning the bad boy down now I generally leave these for about 20 minutes the longer apparently you cook onions for a curry the better the curry apparently but don't quote me well, I've just caught me cell on it. Right, so back with them. Right, uh, I've chopped the chore. You need uh, garlic and ginger. I find that this is amazing stuff. This is the stuff. It's ginger and garlic chopped up. It is absolutely brilliant. I swear not. I love my curries. You all know that, Talbot, honestly. I will never, ever, ever chop garlic and ginger again. Never. That is superb. Anyway, like I say, onions are on. I've chopped approximately five decent sized ones, though, about this size. These are hot. Very, very hot. Um, you can cool it down by cutting the chilli in half, scrape the seeds out, because that's where you heat it, yum yum, in my tum. Right, I'm going to try and find, oh, I know which there, your chicken, uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Tomatoes, coriander, chilies, ginger, garlic, onion, butter, and chicken. That's it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and prop this somewhere. Anyway, right. So, like I say, the chilies are chopped. <coughs> this is determines how what you want it. Seriously, forget the chilli powders and everything. This is the baby. This is the one. Right, obviously, these need chopping as you carry on there. Um, also, I have... <coughs> A mix that I do I get a few packets of powders uh, these are the paste the sorry the powders that I use um, I've had this for well, I'm a, but it's 12 months now uh, in this you've got uh, when you when you go and buy the, the, the packs of the spices they're in 100 gram packs what I do is put 100 grams, so a full pack of chilli powder, full pack of curry powder, a full pack of garam masala, a full pack of ground ginger, 
and a full pack of garlic powder and then I put in half a pack which is 50 grams of paprika mix it all up. oh hang on there's another one oh one into me Pistache. right you want 50 grams also of uh, tandoori masala as well as well as the garam masala oh, 50 grams of this it just gives it a bit of a kick um, yeah basically then mix it all up and uh, yeah uh, in with this I put depending on how many tins of tomato I put two spoonfuls to every tin of tomato um, if I get to when I'm making a huge curry then I might go a bit overboard, you know, put an extra couple in. Um, say five tins of tomato, so I'm feeding 5,000. Then I'll put 12 in. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing, the powders. So, I've, like I say, I've chopped that. I'm going to chop that now, get everything ready. Uh, and obviously, because of the powders. Um, I'll, I'll, what I'll do, I'll, in the link, uh, at the bottom, I'll put what's in the powders. When, before I start chopping, I'm going to put uh, four of these. That's all they are, look. Right, just pop them in. Pop. 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 And that's it. So your gingers in, your garlics in, your onions in. Right, like I say, normally I'd put. In fact, I'm going to put the chilies in now because I like the flavour to come out. The more you cook them, the better the flavour. So I'm going to put them in now. The chilies. So we've got the, like I say, uh, onions, ginger, garlic, budu, onions. I said onions, aren't I? Right, and just leave it let it go right like I say I'm going to chop these I'm going to get that in as well and then it can all infuse right I've propped it up with a can of tomatoes right as I say give your coriander a really 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 good chop That thing is a lot. I'll tell you, they're in. It's the foundation. <laughs> I can give a shit as well. It's a curry. Absolutely brilliant for camping. If you're out and about, just make it beforehand. They say the longer you leave a curry in a pan, the better. I disagree to an extent. <clears throat> Right, the coriander's chopped, and that is going to go into the pan with everything else. God, that smells good. Just with the ginger and the uh, garlic. There, yum, yum. In my tongue. Yeah, I guess just uh, it looks yuck, you know, it being green. But I'll tell you what, it's damn good. Right, just leave that now, simmer away for about, well, I'd say another 15 minutes. Um, What you need to be doing as well regarding the tomatoes. I can't do with the stalks or anything, so what I generally do is put it into a bowl, cut heads off. I mean, the cheap things are, they? you know what I mean? It's not like your bloody, well, your expensive ones. You know, you know, you know I think you know what I'm saying, don't you? 
Right, so what we're going to do now is defrag. <laughs> defrag. <laughs> Fucking hell. All I do is get a bowl. Uh, you know like then the ends can't do it cut them off but I also the tomato that I've done I give it a squeeze get all the juices out I don't want lumps of tomato massive lumps uh, These are good tomatoes. Nice and thick. The juice. Yeah, when you're going with your fingers, I mean, you can feel stalks. You know, you don't, when you're eating a curry, you don't want crap in your mouth, do you? Right, so, that's that one tin. Uh, Dinner spaghetti instead of tomatoes holding phone up. Oh dear me. There we go. Right, obviously, next tin. Oh, what I do with a second tin. Pull some of the juice off. That's it. Not all of it, obviously, but the majority of it. You don't want your curry to be the tomato curry. You know what I mean? This is just uh, the base, really. Um, if you're doing an actual real, 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 real curry, like my neighbour, he uses fresh tomatoes, but he says uh, he'd rather have the tin because you get more juice for mopping up. For mopping up. Right. So I give him a bit of a squeeze. There, hold on. Right, that's ready now to go into the curry when all that's done. There, coming on nicely. When you stir it, you can still feel the onions just being a tad bit hard. Like I say, just leave it, you know what I mean? Don't be scared of burning it, the butter will stop that. Granted, it's not too high, of course. Hey. The powder. What it is, it was Sandra's mother who passed on the mix. And as a lot of know you, a lot of people know now she died. Um, and she took it to grave, didn't she? Uh, she did tell me one day. Well, in fact, she wrote it down for me one day. That's how I knew it was that. But I've been mixing it now for about five, six years. When she let me know what were in it. On the condition that I give her curry and all, which I didn't. <laughs> I regret it now. Anyway, yeah, so uh, making the curry. Uh, You're all actually making the curry, it's just um, the paste. You know, and you, what you can do then once you've done the paste, this is what this is what we're doing now with the paste. Um, what you basically do then, you add to it whatever you want beef, whatever, it's, it's all, all the same mix. 
um, but needless to say depends on whether you want it hot cold or whatever you know what I mean? right so uh, it's been going now for about oh, what would you say 10 minutes but it's smelling absolutely amazing really is right, but I'm still going to let it keep going still going to go uh, I'm going to put my powders in because I like the heat you know bring flavours out I think so teaspoon put four in that much just go in and whatever whatever's on it put it in and if anybody asks me to write down the recipe how to do it you know the method and everything no I ain't writing note down note I've got my tiles today for camper, carpet tiles for front of kitchen bit. I uh, got a sample today as well of O'Leary for the trim, the wood trim, and it matches perfectly and it's four quid cheaper than Magnum's. So looks like we're going down that road. Uh, thank you, Mr. O'Leary. <laughs> Once the powder's going, oh, it's not going to see it, really. it'll go brown. Oh, hang on. There. Because a right mucky, horrible brown. Looks all bitter as well. There. Been cooking now for a good lana. Long time. Uh, there. You'll be amazed. Oh, I forgot about salt. Some salt. Tiny milk. There, it's starting to split now. When you watch, right there. Can you see? Taking a while for it to get back. You see the bottom for just for a short while. It's nearly ready. And then all you basically do is put your tomatoes in, bang your tomatoes in, give it a mix, leave it another 10 minutes to cook. And that's it, you're ready to put your chicken in or whatever meat you want. Right, it's been about, I'd say 20 minutes. Uh, you can tell anyway, I can't hear when you look at it now. Watch. There, yeah, look, you see. Yeah, takes a while for it to go back. Right, it's a case now of... Get your Tommy Arters. And put them in. And that's it. Uh, stir it in. And this is what you call a paste. Right, I want you to leave it to cook now. All the butter and everything will start settling on top but I'm telling you now that butter is the best part of the dish mop it up with some toast right 
just leave that again for another 10 15 minutes and then like I say cook your chicken or whatever you want to do with it put it in done right what I do I've cooked the chicken and I've put it into the paste and that's what you end up with Sun has already had a taste and she said it's absolutely amazing that's your best bit all that grease that's your best bit it really is it's what I call a heart attack in a pan right so there you have it one chuck berry